Hey guys, Portia here, and today I'll be working on one of my favorite types of projects. I'm going to be using the DTF sublimation hack to create a graphic tee that's going to specifically match this pair of gym shoes here. I always like to do this kind of project because sometimes my color matching is off and sometimes it works, so it creates a little bit of mystery in there. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, let's talk supplies. I have a 100% cotton t-shirt. We will be using sublimation ink to print out our image. We'll also be using the DTF powder and transfer film from uh, Yamation. There will be a link in the description with the discount if you guys are interested in checking this product out for yourself. But in a package, we got our powder. We have our film, if I can get it out. And then we also have some instructions. So guys, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and print out our image on the DTF film. Here's the image. It has been printed on my Epson Echo Tank. I did convert it from an inkjet printer to be able to take sublimation ink. Now you may notice the blue strip going down the back of our film. What that is is painter's tape. It allows for the paper to get weighted a little bit more because the Epson Echo Tank doesn't recognize the film right away. It just spits it on out the painter's tape does add a bit of weight to it. Now, one more thing to note, um, I've said this several times in my other DTF videos, make sure you print on the matte side, not the shiny side. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and sprinkle a bit of DTF powder onto the film. And the powder did come in the silver package, but I uh, transferred it to the shaker here so that it is just a little bit easier to handle. And we don't need a whole lot of powder, just a little bit. We just wanna make sure the entire surface is covered on up. Let's get it a little shake. Okay guys, so next steps. We are going to use our heat press to melt the DTF powder into the sublimation ink. Now if you notice, the image looks a little matte now. Once it is fully melted, it's going to look like a gel-like consistency and then um, be a little bit shiny. So I'm just gonna place it here. I have adjusted my heat press so that the platen is just going to hover over the image. Now this, I'm gonna let it go for approximately, hmm, 90 seconds, I found that that has worked for me. Um, just a few pointers guys, depending upon how large your image is and how close the heat source is to the image, you may need a little bit more time or a little bit less. But I'll return once it is fully melted. All right guys, so it has been a little bit over 90 seconds I suppose and we are fully melted so the color is a bit darker now and the image itself is a little glossy so guys i am going to go ahead and prepare the press for the actual t-shirt itself so that means i'm just going to readjust the pressure and then from there we will go ahead and press our image onto the t-shirt we are ready to go ahead and do our first press. So I have my press set to 365 and we are gonna go for 35 seconds. I already flattened the shirt out, cleared it of any debris with the lint roller. And let it go. All right guys, that's the first press. Now this is a cool peel so what we're going to do is just allow this to cool off for a little bit and then when we come back we will peel it together before the second press we are all cooled down and let's see you definitely want to peel slow very nice Okay guys, next step, we are going to heat one more time. It will be for 365 degrees, but this time it'll be for 15 seconds. And this is just going to solidify the image even further into the fabric. All 
All right, we are all done. We are gonna go ahead and take this over to the work table so we can examine it a little bit further. All right, y'all, we are all done. I just want to share with you all my attempt to match my shirt with my shoes. I mean, it ain't for me, but you get the point. I think the colors came out really well. Maybe next time I'll go for a lighter green, but I think we are coordinated. Love how bright the orange came out. And of course, this is like you'll have on a pair of jeans, you rock the shirt up top, your um, gym shoes on the bottom, and it will still go together very well. But as far as the DTF hack, it washes up really well. If you were paying attention in the intro, that was one of my very first DTF hack shirts that I had ever done, and that was back in December. It does wash up really well. No flaking, no um, fading and color and all that good stuff, which is why I love it as an option when I wanna use 100% cotton with sublimation. But yeah, guys, this is all I have for you today. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful or just plain old entertaining, could you give it a thumbs up? But always, until next time, peace.